from Hollywood, it's the, 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 the Tom Micah Show. Who is this Tom guy? And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Write down our toll-free telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Let's talk a little bit uh, in this hour about something that um, I've discussed peripherally, but I've never actually gone into it as a topic on the air. And that is this. How many of you are in a relationship with somebody? You could be married to them. You could be living with them. You could be dating them. How many of you are on in what you think is a committed relationship? Yet, guys, you are with somebody who insists on continuing to go out to clubs with their girlfriends. Or perhaps they've asked you to go with them to clubs. Now, I have been in relationships where people have tried to pull this one on me. I have. You see, first of all, you have to admit somewhere along the line what a club is about. It's not about dancing. It's not about getting dressed up. It's not about, uh, you know, drinking. Going to a club is about hooking up. That is what going to clubs is all about. Hooking up. So if you get married, or if you move in with someone, or for whatever reason, you decide on a monogamous relationship with somebody, theoretically there is no need to go to clubs anymore because you have now done the ultimate hookup. You are hooked up with somebody who you have promised you will never hook up with anyone else again. It's just that one person. So why would you need to go to a nightclub? Why would you need to go to a bar where people are hooking up? I was once in a relationship with somebody who, after she moved in with me, she still had unattached friends who like to go out drinking and dancing at clubs. And so she said to me, well, you know, my friend, uh, she wants to go out to a club. And so I'm gonna... It's like, why do you need to go to a club? Why do you need to go? We're just going to have a drink and talk. So, of course, being the boob that I was, this goes back many years now, I said, okay. I said, but I'll come down to pick you up later. I don't want you driving drunk. And I had to take this long-ass drive, because she not only was going to a club. I have lived in Hollywood all these years, and this club was in Corona Del Mar. Do you know what Corona Del Mar is? Corona Del Mar is adjacent to Newport Beach. Uh, from from Hollywood, that's a minimum 45-mile drive, maybe 50. That's a long-ass drive. But I guess the friend lived in OC, and so she said, I'm, I'm going out. I'm going out tonight. I'm going to a club. So I got to the club, parked my car on PCH. And by the way, if I had even one scintilla of alcohol in my system, I would never drive to the Pacific Coast Highway. I just wouldn't do it. That's the worst place on planet Earth to be driving drunk because the police do a very good job of patrolling PCH all the way 
um, down in, uh, you know, like San Clemente, all the way up to Malibu and beyond. I mean, the cops are watching because they know there's a lot of clubs right there on the water and the bars and whatever, and people like to get soused and then drive home. Right, Mel Gibson? You bet. And so, uh, you know, I'm there like stone cold sober. It's a Saturday night. And I wait till a few hours have passed, and then I get in my car in the Hollywood Hills, and I drive from my house in Laurel Canyon all the way down to Corona Del Mar. And I get to a club there, and these were not girlfriends getting together for a cup of coffee and chit-chatting. It was thumping dance music. It was people staggering out who not only have been drinking, but they've been doing coke and smoking weed and whatever they've been doing. Thank you, Dean. Heard that all the way down the hall. Dean's like, yeah. And uh, on top of that, you know, you walk in and there is said girlfriend at the time with her friend and all these guys standing around offering to buy them drinks and buy them bottles of champagne and whatever. And it was at that moment that I had an epiphany. It's like, if you're in a relationship, you don't need to go to clubs anymore. Now, women love to use a lot of excuses. They love to use excuses for doing that. I like dancing. Oh, what am I supposed to do? Give up dancing just because I'm with you? You don't like to dance, and I like to dance. Well, who are you going to dance with? Who are you going to dance with, dear? You're going to dance with guys. Guys who are not there because they like to practice their dancing, okay? They're not, you know, uh, how many straight men watch Dancing with the Stars? And then they go out to nightclubs to practice their moves. Guys go to dance clubs for one reason. It's to pick up chicks. And I don't need to be in a relationship with somebody who needs to go out to dance clubs and be hit on all the time. And, you know, of course, then they have to dress appropriately to go to the club, you know. That means showing cleavage, and that means, you know, wearing your best shoes, your best outfit, and all that stuff. It's like, what is this all about? If you need to go to clubs, you don't need to be married. If you need to go to clubs, you don't need to be living with anybody. If you need to go to clubs, you don't need a boyfriend, okay? If you need to go to clubs, you should be with all the other people who go to clubs are. Unmarried and looking to hook up. And to me, it is totally unacceptable when a woman says she wants to go out to a club after you get with her. By the way, when I am unmarried, not living with anybody, when I am unattached, I'm just dating, I couldn't care less what women I date are doing with their free time. I couldn't care less. They probably are dating other men. They are probably going to bars and clubs and hooking up. I'm out of town a lot, I travel a lot, I'm busy, I've got a career. I'm sure they find other things to do. And you know what? I don't have a thing to say about it. It's none of my business, and I don't want it to be my business. I don't care. I want them to do what they want to do. It is when I am stupidly in a committed relationship, but the woman says, I'm not going to do that dancing. You, you, you don't like to dance, and now I can't go dancing with us. Is it really about dancing? I don't think so. It's about going out and having guys staring at you and grabbing your ass when you're dancing on the dance floor. D d women don't want to give that up. And I say anybody who doesn't want to give that up, that's okay. You're just not getting the key to my home. Ever. <laughs> it's not going to happen. If you need to be out dancing, that's fine. By the way, boys, if you're in a situation or a scenario with women who tell you this, I've got the ultimate line for you. I've got the ultimate line. This works. And I've done it. I have been with a woman who says, If you think I'm going to give up dancing just because I was you, you got another guest coming, mister. I am going to keep dancing because I like dancing. Maybe I only go out once or twice a month, that's it, but I like to see the girls go down. Here's the response. If they say this, I'm telling you, you can flip your chick out. Here's how you do it. You don't raise a finger. You don't raise your voice. 
All you do is say the following. Ready? You say, this, by the way, is one of my favorite lines. Anytime somebody is saying something really offensive, you say the following. You say, that's fantastic. Because <laughs> they'd love to get a rise out of you. You know, they would love to have you say, don't you dare go out to clubs or I'm coming after you. I'm going to be watching you. I'm going to be check. I'm going to be checking your voicemail and checking your email. There are women who just love that. You know, they want to stir something up and, and get the engine revving and stuff. No, no, no. I tell when I'm with a woman and she tells me she likes going to clubs. I say, that's fantastic. You know why? Because I'm not giving up going to clubs either. I, I love that you go to clubs because when you don't go to clubs, they give me a night off. Now I can go to a club. Women don't know how to respond to that. They don't know how to answer that because they know why men go to clubs. And you see, this is why they, they, they think they can win the argument. And the only reason they win, guys, is because you're a pussy. You know, because you're sitting there going, well, she's right. You know, she can't just give up seeing her friends and going out to nightclubs. Just because she's in a relationship with me, I'm being unreasonable. I am being unreasonable. Meow. No. What you got to do is you got to say, I am thrilled that you go to clubs, because that means I don't have to give up going to clubs either. I love going out. So now that I know that you're not going to give up going on, I think that's fantastic, because I'm not going to give it up either. Oh, they flip. They don't know what to do. Because they know why the guys go out to clubs, even though they try to play dumb. They love the attention from guys, the groping from guys, the guys licking their lips, licking their chops, the guys uh, squirting a little extra cologne and coming out of the men's room and rolling into action. They love it. They know that guys only go for one reason. They go. They know that the, the guys who go to these clubs are generally not gay. They're there to hook up. They know it. Oh, yeah, they know it. I will never forget uh, when I was previously married. I uh, happened to be at Beverly Hills with my ex-wife. And a bunch of people from my office at the time were going to a dance club, which at the time was hot in Beverly Hills. And oh my goodness, my ex couldn't wait to go to this club because it was like, you know, that week it was the hottest club in town. It's always the hottest club in town. You want to go to the hottest club. If nobody can get in, that's the club you want to go to. If there's a line to get in, that's the one you want to go to. If you have to know somebody who knows somebody, that's the one you want to go to. And that, that particular week, it was like that was it. That It was the epicenter of clubs. That was the club everybody was trying to get into. And she wanted us to go there. So we went there. And it was everything you think, thumping music and people going around, you know, trying to sell drugs and... But but best of all, thank you, Dean. And the best of all, best of all, was the men's room and the women's room right next to each other. And there was a Hall of Fame NFL quarterback. That's all I'm going to say. A married Hall of Fame NFL quarterback who was, uh, he went to the men's room. Squirted the extra spritz of cologne, uh, of cologne, and then came out and hovered around the ladies' room entrance and just picked up on every chick going through there, including my ex. Oh yes, he started chatting her up. This guy's married, yes, big time Hall of Fame NFL quarterback with a wife, and there he was at this club, no wife in sight. And there's my ex coming out, and she, of course, is, oh, he talked to me. He was, like, chatting me up. That's exactly why I don't want them. If I'm ever in a relationship, I don't want them going to clubs like that, especially without me. I don't want to go to them because what do I need to go to a club for if I decide I'm in a relationship? You go, Guys, straight men go to clubs to hook up. Not so we can get on the dance floor. We couldn't care less. 
And seeing the way she was just uh, 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 when when this Hall of Fame NFL quarterback with his wife nowhere nearby was drooling all over her, it it showed me exactly why women like that want to continue going to clubs even if they're in a relationship, even if they're married. They want that attention. So the best way to shut them the hell up is to say, oh, I'm glad you want to keep going to clubs because you know why? I'm not giving it up either. I'm glad we agree on this because I thought we were going to have an issue with this, but this is fantastic. You're going to keep going out to clubs? And so am I. I can't tell you how many women I've been involved with once I say that. They don't go to another club. Then they're constantly asking me, what are you doing Friday? What are you doing Saturday? What are you doing Friday? What are you doing next Friday? What are you doing two weeks from Friday? What are you doing three weeks from Friday? They, they want to make sure I'm not going to clubs. But I tell them I reserve the right to do it, and I'm telling you, it shuts them down. It shuts them down. Are you with somebody like this who insists on continuing to go out to, like, you know, meat market type bars and, and nightclubs, places where you hook up, even though you are with them? You're with them, you live with them, you're married to them, you have a so called monogamous relationship with them. They reserve the right to come in at two, three, four o'clock in the morning. They reserve the right to go out to any clubs with the girls or whatever. Is this an ongoing battle in your relationship? How have you handled this? I have to know. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800. Tom. My wife is trying to egg me into buying her some leather pants. She wants other men to look at her ass the way you did. Right. Why would I you do. want to make it easier for them to enjoy your wife's ass? Exactly. I should buy her damn moo moo. The Tom Likas Show. The Five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Ricardo on the Tom Like His Show. Hello, Ricardo. Hey Tom. Hey, how's it going? I was just calling uh, to give you a little story about. Me. I think you'd get a kick out of this one. Okay. Uh, well, my my ex girlfriend, which is also my baby's mom, um, she wants. She was like that. She was always like, why not go out? Why not go out? Right. And I was like, how you said, I was like, I don't want to be unreasonable. She's 23 years old. I'm 27. Yeah, I've done my partying. She needs to do hers, whatever. She did it a couple of times. One of the times, I guess she didn't want to keep doing it without me. So she said, hey, let's go out. You know, you, me, my brother and his girlfriend, and we'll also take my best friend with me. Well, I didn't see a need why she should bring her best friend with her. You know, it's like, well, that's she's like the fifth wheel. Well, she brought her anyways, no big deal. That's her best friend. Anyways, we're at the bar, whatever. She leaves her phone in the car. She's pretty much hanging out with her best friend most of the time than me. I'm kind of just sitting with her brother and his girlfriend. She borrows my phone because she says that um, she left her phone in the car. She's like, hey, can I borrow your phone? I was like, yeah, sure. So she had my phone, whatever. Later, the club closed. Um, we were all on our way out, and she wouldn't come out of the restroom. She was in the restroom, and everybody's like, we're so-and-so, we're so-and-so. And everybody's like, I don't know. So her brother's girlfriend went in there to go get her, you know, along with the best friend. And they came back out. And I'm like, well, where is she? Well, the brother's girlfriend wouldn't lie for her. She's like, I don't know. I don't know. She's in there. I think she's sick. I don't know. I don't know. The best friend was like, I don't know. The same thing, right? So she, my girl, my ex comes out, which is also my baby's mom. Like I said, she comes down. She's on the telephone, my, my phone. So normally I wouldn't be asking her, hey, were you talking to or whatever, you know, because that's her phone. But she, since she was on my phone, I said, give me my phone, you know. She's like, no, 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 I'm, I'm on the phone. And she started getting really, really weird, and I was like, give me my phone. So I take it from her, and the phone still, she's still talking to this person. And I'm like, hello? And there's another guy on the other line. I'm like, who the hell are you, you know? And he gives me his name, and I'm like, you're her ex-boyfriend, aren't you? And he's like, yes, I am. And I was like, you son of a... So I hung up on him. I literally just blasted at her. I mean, she was, like, trying to talk to me and say, let me explain. But, I mean, it's like, how do you explain that, Tom? You know what I mean? It's like, how do you explain that? And especially with, with the ex-boyfriend, you know, the, the guy that supposedly me and her, when she was with him, I, I met her, which should have been a red flag. 
And I uh, ended up with me, and now I got a little boy who's sitting right behind me, and I'm trying to get him. Hopefully, uh, you'll still be around by the time he's old enough to listen to you, Tom. By the way, I, I'm sure you love your little boy, but why did you have a baby with somebody like that? I don't know, Tom. I, you know what? At the time, really, I wasn't listening to you, and I was dumb. I thought I was in love, love, love. Um, she's the exception of the rule, and Tom, as soon as she had my son, everything just turned one. She's eight, just, just like the rest of them, isn't she? Yeah, just like the rest of them. You know, a lot of times when, when a lot of callers are, are here calling, it's like, damn, are they talking about her, you know? Or I hear guys calling, like, are they talking about her? Because she's, she's, she's probably the queen of all of them, Tom, seriously. And, I mean, I gave her everything I could, you know. I let her buy my BMW while I drove her VW oh, bus. Jesus. I got her a house. I got her a pram stroller that cost well, like $600. This is what happens. Yeah, exactly. One day she put her hands on me, and, and it got worse and worse, and, and there it is. But you know what? I DT beat her. You know, I took a little vacation, went to Miami, just got back. Um, you know, I got a raise, bought a $5 raise, along with a free gas car, so I don't have to put gas anymore in my car. So I'm, I'm doing pretty good. But like you said, I'm taking the time out from girls, and I'm just going to concentrate on, you know, paying off my debt, saving my money, and just moving on. No, you don't need these relationships, Ricardo. <laughs> just get laid. Yeah, I know. That's all it's about, just getting laid, because you know what, at the end of it, and you know what, Tom, seriously, Tom, before I even listened to you, I was a, a big-time player all through high school. All my friends had girlfriends, and their girlfriends wouldn't let them hang out with me because I was the only single guy. They you know the way I was. I dated so many girls, but she was different. Tom, she wouldn't get upset, and I was like, you, I didn't care what she did, and that's probably why I didn't know what she was doing. I didn't know what she was like because I was always, she was doing her thing, I was doing my thing. Cardo, thank you. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. K on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, K. How are you doing, Tom? Long time listener, first time caller. Glad to be able to talk to you finally. As well you should be. <laughs> I'm just a single 25-year-old guy. The girls I usually date, you know, they're still young. They're still trying to explore new things. But, you know, the one thing I tell them that really shuts them down is I just tell them, do whatever you want, just whatever you want. But as soon as I see something that I don't like, you know, don't expect me to, you know, stand around and watch. Just, you know, walk out the door and leave is what I tell them. And that, you know, shuts them down completely 100% of the time. Well, you should do whatever works for you. What works for me is telling them, great, you like clubs, I like clubs. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I just let them do, you know, whatever, you know. And they're free to do whatever, but they don't. You know, at the end, they'll put us a fit, but no, they don't. They yeah, well, most, most chicks I told, you know, they say I like going to clubs. I say, great, so do I. Most of them stop going after I say that. I'm sorry, what was that? Most of the girls? They Most of them stop going to clubs once I tell them, oh, great, you, you're you going to go to clubs? Uh, I'm going to keep going, too. <laughs> yeah, that's what they expect, too. Because so they I know exactly that. why guys, they know, they play dumb, but they know why guys go. Yeah, they know why guys go, and as soon as I let go of the leash, it's like a little dog. They don't just go run around. I mean, they just stay around. They hang around. I know. You're right. Thank you for that. Luis on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. How are you doing? Doing great, Luis. It's a, such a great pleasure talking to you. It's, I'm a first-time caller, long-time listener. Thank you, Luis. Well, uh, it's amazing. I was uh, listening to your show right now, and then this topic came along, and it's amazing. This thing happened to me on Saturday, and what I did about it probably is not the best way to go, but I'm going to tell you what happened. Uh, on Saturday, I was working, and then my girlfriend calls me early, and she tells me that she wants to hang out with me in the night because we don't get to see each other that much during the week. So... Um, once I'm done with my job and everything, like around 7 or something, I'll give her a call and she tells me, I hope you don't get mad, but uh, I kind of want to go out with my uh, friends to a bar. My sister and my cousin are coming along, so I hope you don't mind. And I was like, what the, what the hell is that? You know, oh, but, but I was trying to keep my cool. So I was like, okay, fine, go for it. You know, I, I'll find something to do. And then she goes, what do you mean you'll find something to do? I don't know, I'll just go out with my friends. I'll go to a club or something, too. And then she started going crazy, like, you know, why are you going to go to a club? I know you're going to go see girls and this and that and try to hook up. 
And I was like, well, I could say the exact same thing from you, about you, right? Because what the hell are you going to go? Just drink with your friends? And, uh, and, she, and she uses this line that all women use. It's, I'm different because I'm a girl. You're a guy and guys are like that. Does that make any sense, Tom? Well, of course not, because the thing is, yeah, guys are like that, and those are the guys you're going to be dancing with at the club, dear. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. So uh, we started arguing on the phone, and the last thing she said was like, uh, you know, you just ruined my day. I'm not going anymore. And uh, I was like, well. See what I told I'm you? That's, gonna... that's what they yeah. do. They say they're not going to go anymore because hey, what's worse than them going out to the club is having to worry about you going out to the club. I know. So what I did was like, uh, you know what? I, I already have plans because I called it a second time. Like, I already made plans, and I didn't, actually. So right after I hang up with her, I called a friend uh, of mine that I used to bank one some time, quite some time ago. And we got it going that night. I don't know if that's the right, the right way to go, but it just felt so right for me at the yeah, moment. Yeah, yeah. Well, you should do what works for you. But uh, you see, when when you tell them, oh, that's great, well, uh, you know, you keep going to clubs because I'm going to keep doing it. To oh, they flip. Yeah. I'm not, a, I'm not a club kind of guy, but uh, I do like, you know, going out with friends and stuff. So I just called this chick. We went out, and we got it going on, and it was all flying good. Love it. All right, Tom. Hey, it's such a pleasure talking to you. You're a major entertainer. I love your show. Keep doing what you're doing. And can you take me out Compton style? Of course I can, Louise. Here you go. Biatch. Tom Lucas. 1-800-5800-TOM. What was that again? Were you not listening to me, sir? I couldn't hear a word you were saying. Well, I couldn't hear a word that you were saying either. I see. That's great. I like the level of discourse here. It's fantastic. It's the Tom Lucas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show from Hollywood at one 800 5800 tom Are you in a relationship with a chick who insists on going out to clubs? Daniel on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, what's up, Tom? How you doing? I'm doing great. Good, good to hear. Good to hear. First time listener, first time caller. All right. <laughs> hey, uh, I have an opinion about something. My girl, we've been going out for about a year already, Okay. And uh, we don't do the club thing because we're, we're in a committed relationship, so what's the point, you know? You are how old? I'm 19, Tom. Why are you in a committed relationship? I knew you were going to ask that. I knew you were going to ask that. Yeah, well, I'd like the answer. You had time to prepare since you knew what I was going to ask. <laughs> I'm just, I'm a relationship type of guy, Tom. Why are you a relationship type of guy? I, I, did the, I did the dating thing, single, playing around with other girls at the same time. For how long? You're 19. Hey, I started in seventh grade, baby. You didn't start anything. Come on. How many, how many chicks have you been with? Ten? What do you mean? Been with? Three. Had sex with. Actual sex. Seven. Seven. There you go. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've done it all already, Tom. I've been with seven whole women. That's it. Now I'm a relationship guy because I've been with seven women. That's it. I'm, I'm I'm hanging up my penis. I'm hanging it up in the penis hall of fame because I've I've already had my fun. I'm twenty. I'm nineteen, and now I, I I'm a relationship kind of guy. How's that working out for you? Working out pretty good. You just like my dad. Uh huh. You're just like my dad. You're just like my dad. Yeah. Well, you you know what? Your dad knows a little something about this. You should pay attention to it. You know what I do, but this is different. No, it isn't. All right, Tom. Everybody who calls here says that. So I'm just like everybody else then, huh? You're different like everybody else. That's right. Everybody else is different the same way you are, <laughs> which means they're not different at all. No, they're not. Yeah, so tell us how well it's working out. Hey, Tom is doing pretty good, actually. It's... It's going, it's, it's going really well for So, me. then you don't go to clubs, and she doesn't go to clubs, and it's fantastic. No. Exactly. But, you know, it's getting kind of like, kinda not boring, but you, know, you, want, you want to spice it up, you know? Why do you so, want to spice it up? You've already had your, you've been with seven women already. We, 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 you're we, bored we, already? I mean, come on, you're done having fun. You told us that. Okay, maybe not all the way done. Well, if you're not all the way done, you shouldn't have a committed relationship. True. That's the point I'm trying to make. That's the point your dad is trying to make. True. You know, 
drive on from? You're folding like a house of cards here, Daniel. <laughs> hey, bro, give me a pity about something. Me and my, I want to go to a club with my girl. Because I like dancing. I was on a hip-hop dance team myself. And it, it, it's, it's, it's okay to go to a club, me and her just dancing. There's not, there's not going to be any other problems. You think, that, you think there is? Yes! Like, what kind of problems? <laughs> if your girl goes to a club, she's going to get hit on by guys. By the way, you're not even old enough to have an ID. Okay, well, okay where, are you going? where are you going to dance? Uh, to Chuck E. Cheese? Uh, the local Sunday school? Where are you going to dance? Scribbles. Uh, these are, these are, the Club McGee's. These are 18-plus clubs, or these are clubs yeah. where you bring a fake ID? No, these are 18-plus clubs. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, well, every girl gets hit on. Yeah, anyway, well, anyway, anyway, well anyway. Then, then there's no need to be going to clubs anymore. Because you're in a committed relationship. Okay, I see. I see. And that's why I'm telling you you shouldn't be in a committed relationship, because you're bored. True. Well, yeah, And I that's guess. because you're 19. Of course you're bored with being in a committed relationship. Yeah. We have, a, we have a lot of everything. We have a lot in common. Talk blah, blah, things. blah. So date her and date others. Okay. So there's no reason for... That will really know. spice things up. And, and you're 19. That's the kind of spice you need. <laughs> so there's no reason for us to go to a club together. You shouldn't be going to a club together. Let her go to a club and do whatever she wants to do. And you do what you want to do. Okay. Because I, I, I think we'll be able to do that because we have the trust that we have. Oh, stop. The trust through. that we have. Yeah. If she wants to go to clubs, she's going to be picked up on, groped, grabbed. Now, you know what goes on on the dance floor. Guys are out there who are trying to pick up chicks, and they're going to be groping your girl. Yeah. And she is going to love it, and that's why she wants to be on the <laughs> dance floor. <laughs> You're laughing. It's true, though. I know it's true. So if she needs to be groped and grabbed by others, clearly she doesn't need a committed relationship, and neither do you. You can date her, and she can date you, and then the two of you can date others. Like when you go to dance clubs, and you have, uh, you know, uh, you have your fake ID, and you get a little tipsy, and then you decide you want to have fun with somebody else. I'm telling you, she's going to do it. I don't care what kind of trust you think you have. She, she never brought this to my attention. I, I was going to ask her... If, you know, you want to go to clubs together. She's never brought it up, though. Why would you want to go together? What's the point of that? To dance. To dance. You can dance in your living room. But you don't have that, uh, that club vibe, though. The club <laughs> vibe? What? The vibe of people who are going there to hook up? No, the vibe. That is what people are going there to do. The majority of the people are going. Yes, that's the vibe. That is the vibe of a club. Not everyone's there to do what. Please. Yeah. 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 Some people are there to uh, clean up uh, the bar, and some people are there to serve <laughs> drinks, and some people are there to collect a dollar from the bathroom when you get squirted with cologne. Yes. There, there are some people who are not there to, to pick up on other people, but the vast majority are. That is why dance clubs exist. It's true. I know it's true. All right. Well, All right. You, you sit there and listen to yourself on the radio <laughs> now that you're done. Christy? On the Tom Likas Show, hello. Hi, Tom. How are you? Great. Good, 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 good. I can't believe I'm actually talking to you finally. <laughs> no I've no one's more surprised than I am. Long, long time. What? <laughs> I haven't been a fan for so long. Mm. And then one day I just converted. Really? Yeah. It was really weird. I was Then like, you were speaking in tongues. Someone. Huh? What? No, 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 go ahead. I'm sorry. I was defending you to someone. I'm like, why am I defending him? I don't even like him. Then I realized, oh, gosh, I kind of like him. That's right. <laughs> Well, the only thing missing is my handprint on your ass cheek. Oh, jeez. Anyway, I, you, you're Tell wrong Tell me you wouldn't topic. love that. For the women, you're wrong on this topic. I mean, maybe not all women. You know, it's different for women when they go out dancing. And any girl that's... Most of us are the same. We like to be seen. We, we don't... don't I, if you need to be seen, you need to be single. That's not true. That's no. As a man, that's how I feel about it. If 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 I if my attention is not enough for you, then you should be free to get all the attention you need. No, no, no. It's a different kind of attention. But that's I think men point. should say no to it. But my main point is this: like when guys go to men a men should drop bar? kick you through the uprights when you do that. What? 
I said, men should drop kick you through the uprights when you do that. <laughs> when men go to a sports bar, like some guys just want to watch the game and have a few beers, right? We're not there. There's no chicks. There that are no chicks, and we are not there to get attention from chicks. But that's make, that makes a guy. A girl is different. Uh, girl again, is different. if girls need to get attention from other guys, they need to be with other guys. They come home, and they're fired up for their man. I, I, you know what? Good. I'm sorry. If you need to get fired up by being looked at by other guys, go be with other guys. That's not what I'm trying to say. That's what I'm trying to say. Well, what I'm trying to say on behalf of the women who are who are innocent and don't do anything wrong, like when girls go to a club, they want to go dancing, and there's like five to ten of them because they're at a birthday event or something. They're like a big herd. Like no one can get through that herd. Mm, right. Right. So you have no problem if your man goes to a strip club. Actually, you know, I really don't because I just oh. know my man, and, and he doesn't really – he's gone. I don't even care. Maybe you don't even care. In his whole life. Well, we've been married for 10 years together. For if he went out to strip clubs as often as you go out to dance clubs, would you feel good about it? Oh, my God. I haven't been to a dance club in like five years. Uh -huh. We went together just over the weekend to celebrate our anniversary mm -hmm. in Vegas, and we had a good time dancing with each other. Mm -hmm. Now, he did it for me. He hates to dance. But, you know, sometimes we just want to get out there and dance. And when you're with your man, it's like totally, it's just a whole different element. It's a good thing. Mm -hmm. You know? And I really feel that um, a lot of the girls, like, they dress for each other. They're not always there for the men. Yeah, my attitude as a man is you should be dressing for me. And <laughs> if you're not going to dress for me, if you're going to dress for all the strange men who might take a look at you, oh, you should God. be with the strange men. Go be with them. No, I don't agree. I know I, you don't because you're a woman. I think if you go with one girl, you're out for, like, trouble. If you got just one friend, you want to prowl. If you have a whole group of girls. and they I don't care how many girls you go with. There's going to be guys buying you drinks, and there's going to be guys grabbing your ass. And I don't want to be in a relationship with someone who needs to go out and drink and get their ass grabbed. Mm -hmm. So you think that flirting a little bit, I mean, that's supposed to be healthy in a relationship. Not for me. I don't like it. And, uh, not, by the way, I live alone, so my attitude is if somebody wants to go out to a club, that's fantastic. It's just a thing about guys. They don't go to their buddy, hey, I feel like dancing. <laughs> they just don't do it. That's Women right. We feel don't. Like dancing, you know? Well, dear, that's what your living room was made for. You've got a boom box. <laughs> you've got a living room. Uh, you could put on uh, some dance music radio station there. Well, I've done that many a times, and we've had a good time, you know. Yeah, yeah but, but see, it's not about dancing. It's about men looking at you lustfully. Well, you know, if you're having a bad day or something or whatever. I mean, well, I haven't been... Well, that's it. Your husband's not good enough. You have to get strange men licking their chops over you. Well, that's disgusting. There's a lot of cool clubs out there that aren't like, you know, like LA. Come on. Clubs. Come on. Dance clubs are places where people hook up. You're not... Look, I work in clubs. You're not going to... You can tell your husband whatever you want, but I've been in these places and I know what they're all about. Well, you know some places in Orange County, they have, like, restaurant bar lounges. They're not like a big house. When they are dance clubs, it is men grabbing the asses of other guys' wives and girlfriends. That's what it is. Mm. Well, I, I just, you know, I know I can't win one. Tell me in the five. five years you went to clubs that no man on the dance floor tried to grab your ass. You know, it's like, maybe, but... Not you, maybe, you, you, you don't, not maybe, not it. maybe, That's not maybe. Well, as you know what? I can't. If I'm with you, I can't ignore it. You're out there getting your ass grabbed and you and you need that in your life? Great. Go be with the guys on the dance floor. Well, I'm not saying you need that. I'm just well, saying you, girls you, like to be together in a group and have fun and dance. And usually well, they just dance with each other. How about you dance in your living room? <laughs> not the same. That's my there's point. No it's not the same there. because there's no guys like the Big Bad Wolf licking their chops. There's no uh, Hall of Fame NFL quarterbacks hanging out outside the ladies' room waiting for you to come out and salivating all over you. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you don't get that in your living room at home. No, you, you certainly don't. And that's why you want to go to a club because you have that element. Mm -hmm. and, no. and, and as a man, I would not be in a relationship with somebody who needs that. I hear you. I hear you. If my husband wanted to go out to a club every weekend, too, there'd be no, I would not be able to deal with it. But, you know, every once in a while, I I'm telling you right now, that's what I have told every woman who likes to go to clubs. I'm, that's fantastic. Because I like it, too. Well, why don't you guys go together? Oh, no, no. I don't want to get in the way if she needs male attention. I think she should be out getting it. Oh, gosh. It's and I'll be out, to, I'll be out uh, doing what I need to do. Anyway, thank you for talking to me. I really appreciate it. I did it as a public service, darling. Thank you. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. That's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. The Tom Likas Show.